components to the actual automobile insurance policy. I also want to discuss with you some of the common misconceptions uh, that people encounter when purchasing uh, an automobile insurance policy. Uh, so the first thing I want to talk about is um, the notion of full coverage versus liability. Um, when someone is purchasing an auto automobile insurance policy, it is very important uh, to select the right type of coverage uh, and to really know about the coverages before selecting. Um, like I said, one of the most common misconceptions is the notation of uh, full coverage versus uh, liability only. Now, uh, if you have liability only, um, you're only covered for any type of liable situation that you would encounter as a result of your vehicle being in an accident. So, in other words, if you got into an accident and you damage someone else's uh, car, uh, you're going to be covered, or that person's car is going to be repaired by your insurance policy. Now, if your vehicle gets into an accident and you are at fault, not the other individual, and you have liability only, it is your responsibility to fix the vehicle. Uh, the money that would, it would cost would come out of your pocket. Uh, now, on the other hand, if you have full coverage, meaning if you have comprehensive end collision coverages on your automobile insurance policy, then the repairs to your vehicle would be covered minus whatever your deductible would be. Okay? Uh, that would be under the collision part of the policy. So either you'll have a two fifty five hundred thousand dollar deductible, and any damages uh, after that would be covered by the policy. The insurance company would pay for the repair. Now, uh, let's briefly speak about comprehensive coverage. Comprehensive coverage is anything other than collision. So let's say the car is stolen, it is vandalized, a tree falls on it, whatever it may be, uh, with the exception of you getting into an accident, um, it would be covered. So, in other words, like I just said, if the car is stolen, uh, you will pay your deductible again, which can range from two fifty to a thousand dollar deductible. Some companies offer a two thousand dollar deductible, and then the insurance company would pay whatever the book value of the vehicle is. Now, what's nice also, some of the insurance companies today, also a lot of the insurance companies that we deal with at New York Insurance Shopper and New Jersey Insurance Shopper, have an option called new car replacement. Uh, this is an excellent, excellent feature that can be purchased for a nominal fee on an auto insurance policy. Um, and basically what it does is if the car is stolen um, and it needs to be replaced, rather than giving you the book value of the car, they will give you a brand new car. They will not depreciate the value of the vehicle at all. Um, this option is usually offered on a vehicle up to two years old. Uh, beyond that, the option is not available. Now, one other thing that I really want to speak about is, again, this notion of full coverage versus liability only. Uh, how do you know what to purchase? Um, it's a, obviously, when you get liability only, it's going to be a lot less money than if you get full coverage of the comprehensive and collision as well. Reason being, it's, it's not covering your car for any accident that you should get involved in. It's not covering your car for theft. It's really only covering your car for property damage, medical liability damage, anything like that. So, um, the question again is, what should you purchase? Well, what you really need to do is you need to figure out what the value of your vehicle is. A great way to figure that uh, out is to go ahead and look up the blue book value or Kelly blue book value car of your, uh, excuse me, value of your car. Uh, this can be found at www.kbb.com. Now, based on what the blue book value of your car is, that's going to basically determine whether or not you want to purchase the bare bones or the essential liability policy, or if you want to go ahead and you want to purchase the, uh, the Mercedes-Benz of auto insurance or car insurance, which is the, uh, the full coverage policy. No pun intended there. So... A good rule of thumb is if the cost of the insurance is going to outweigh what the value of the vehicle is, chances are you're probably going to want to go with just liability. Reason being, if you get into an accident and it's a serious action and the car gets totaled, you're probably just going to want to get a new vehicle. You're not going to want to get the car repaired. So in that instance, a liability-only policy is probably going to be the way to go. 
Now, on the other hand, if your car has significant value to it and it costs more than what the annual cost of the insurance uh, policy is, you're probably going to want to take the full coverage policy. And also, like I mentioned before, there are things you can do to alter a full coverage policy to get it within the budget constraint that you make. In other words, you can take higher deductibles, which would lower your annual premium. All right, so that's basically what I wanted to speak about as far as uh, auto insurance and car insurance is concerned. What you should do if you're interested in some car insurance quotes is you can go to either one of our websites and fill out the three-step quoting form. It's very easy, and basically what we will do is analyze the information that you input and put together the most competitive quote possible with the best possible coverage and deliver it to you. So again, my name is David Goldstein with New York Insurance Shopper and New Jersey Insurance Shopper. Uh, if you have any questions in regard to this webcast and you would like to speak with me, you can reach me at info at nyinsuranceshopper.com. Again, that's I-N-F-O at N-Y.